chapter 6.6 .6 notes, systems and linear e inequalities. So we're going to do systems today. That means you're going to graph two linear inequalities on one graph. It's just an extension of what we did yesterday. Um, example one, what we want to do is graph both inequalities on the same graph, pretty much. So the first one's going to be easy. We have the y-intercept of negative 3 and the slope of 2. So we're going to go down 3 on the y-axis, put a point, then we're going to rise 2, run 1, rise 2, run 1. And it's um, less than here, so it's going to be a dotted line through those points. Then I'm going to go ahead and shade it. It's less than, so I'm going to shade below the line. And then let's graph, that's the first one's graphed. Let's graph the second one. Let's see, we graphed it in gray, black, so we're going to graph the second one in red. So in red, our line is not in slope-intercept form, so we're going to rewrite it that way by subtracting 2x. And we get y is greater than negative 2x plus 2. That means my y-intercept is 2 and my slope is negative 2. So on the graph, we're going to put a point at positive 2. Then we're going to fall 2, run 1. Fall 2, run 1. And it doesn't matter if it goes into the other graph. That's fine. And we're going to put a dotted line on this one as well. Now since it's y greater than, you're going to shade above the line here. And do you see this area where the two shaded areas cross? That area of the graph is your answer. Every single point that lies inside that area would satisfy both equations in the system. All right, guided practice number one, I want you to try yourself, graph each inequality on this graph and then shade both and the double shaded area is where your answers lie. I'm not going to give you the answer to this one. I am going to check it tomorrow to make sure that you did it yourself. All right, example two. We want to write a system from what we've been given here. So we're going to write two different inequalities. So we're going to write one for this one and one for this one. And you can pick which one you want to write first. It doesn't matter. I'll, I'll do the solid line first. So the y-intercept of this one is negative one. So it's going to be y equals mx plus b. But since b is negative 1, we're going to replace plus b with minus 1. And then the slope is going to be replaced. We rise 1, run 1. So our slope is 1. So it's x minus 1. And then our we need to go ahead and replace our equal sign. Since we shaded above this line, we're going to do greater than or equal to because it's a solid line. And there's my first inequality. And then I'm going to write my other one. So my y-intercept for this one is positive 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's going to be plus 5. Slope is down 1, right 2, down 1, right 2. So negative 1 half. And because we shaded below this line and it's dotted, we're going to do less than. And that's my system of equations or inequalities. All right, uh, guided practice number two. I don't have the graph up here, but you do have it on your paper, so I'm not going to draw it. And I'm not going to give you the answer. You're going to write the system, because if you can tell, there's not a whole lot of work to do here. You're going to write the system, and I will check it tomorrow. Um, as long as you have this, you'll get half credit for example two, and this will be your other half credit for example two. All right, example three, we're going to use a system of inequalities. You're planning what to do after school. You can spend at most six hours daily playing basketball and doing homework. You want to spend less than two hours playing basketball, and you have to spend at least an hour and a half on homework. What's the graph showing how you can spend your time? So your total number of um, hours playing basketball and doing homework. So we'll do basketball plus homework cannot be more than six hours. So it has to be less than or equal to six. Um, you cannot spend, or you have to spend less than two hours playing basketball. 
So basketball has to be less than two. And then uh, you have to spend at least, so greater than or equal to, one and a half hours doing um, homework. <clears throat> so we're going to do a graph where we will um, graph these three inequalities on a graph. And then we'll look and see where our options lie for how we can spend our time. So for the first equation, we have to put that in slope-intercept form. Our um, H is going to be our X, and our B is going to be our Y, but it really doesn't matter. So we're going to spend, take our, if we want to put it in slope-intercept form, then we want it to be B equals. So we're going to move, I mean H equals. So we're going to move our B over to the right, and we get H is less than or equal to B plus 6. So my Y-intercept is 6. We put a point there. And slope is 1. So I'm going to go right 1, down 1. And that's going to end up looking something like that. And it's a solid line. And we're going to shade below it because it's less than. Okay, for B is less than 2. Um, our B is our X. So we're going to put 2 on our X axis, the point there. And if B is X, then that's a vertical line. So we're going to put a dotted line through that point. And then we're going to shade every number that's less than 2. So that's this way. And then thirdly, we will do this one in green. H is greater than or equal to 1.5. You're going to go up 1.5 on the y-axis, and you're going to put a, a horizontal line through that point. And then it's greater than, so you're going to shade everything above that line. Now, all the highlighting is getting very close together, but I'm going to outline it. It's triple highlighted in this area. So this area right here is where my solutions lie. So any uh, combination of basketball hours here or homework hours here that lies in this area would work for your situation. All right, guided practice number three. I want you to graph the two equations on a, actually it's three equations, on just like we did here, and then bring it to me tomorrow. Now I know this is probably going to be pretty difficult for you. Just do your best, okay? Bring me your work and show it to me tomorrow, and also be ready for a quiz.